All right, Tuesday night, rapid fire. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm here with um, writer, director Mark Bacadis, whose film Cult Girls is currently on DVD through Umbrella Entertainment. Hey, Mark, how are you? Hey, Glenn. How you going? I'm good. Hey, thanks for uh, hanging around, mate. I've got a bunch of questions to fire at you. Are you ready for them? Oh, for sure. I'll see how I go. I'll um look. I'll tailor quite a few of them towards uh, your filmmaking, but then there's just going to be some oh, really, cool. really random, batshit, crazy ones in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, can you name one filmmaker who has influenced your work more than any others? Jess Franco. That was easy. Any particular film? Um. Ah. Oh. I like, a, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to pick one. Yeah. There's so many crazy films. <laughs> I like, I love, love Letters of a Portuguese Nun. I haven't seen that one. It's pretty fucked up. Oh, good. I <laughs> should maybe check it out then. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first film you ever saw at the cinema? Um, I think the first film that really kind of informed me was Star Wars. Yeah. Pretty Pretty easy, yeah. That was that. Uh, after that, I was. I said to my mum and dad, "I want to make films." <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing how many people yeah. that film in, informed. Yeah. What was your favourite childhood film? I like Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> you had cool parents, I see. Uh, yeah, Conan the Barbarian was cool. I mean, obviously Arnie was a bit stiff, but it was pretty. <laughs> um, it was pretty deep for uh, you know, with all the Nietzsche influences. Um, I think my, my auntie took me to see 2001 when I was pretty young yep. and I didn't really understand it, but that was pretty cool. And obviously Blade Runner as well. Um, but I think Conan was the first thing. It was like when I uh, asked my mum to take us to see Kiss, it was something that I really wanted to see myself. Yeah, right. Awesome. Um, okay. What's your favourite flavour of ice cream? Um, probably um, Choc Mint. Yeah, that's mine too. <laughs> something in common awesome uh, alright if you were only permitted to take one Tim Burton film into isolation which one would it be um Pee Wee Herman yeah, yes Pee Wee Herman one yes me too I, I loved Pee Wee when it first came out it was so cool particularly before the film when um he was doing adult comedy like it was a stage show like yeah. a kids production for adults and he was like a little sex pest it was great yeah 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 I had a little Pee Wee Herman doll um, that another director friend gave to me and um, I don't have it anymore. I should try and get it back or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the best. Uh, what, um, what's been your favorite music video to direct? Okay. Um, that's a hard one. I guess working with the Foves, um, they're just, uh, they've been lifelong friends and I've done so many clips with them. Um, even though dogs in the dogs are the best people was a very lo-fi clip, um, and I did bigger budget ones for them later, where we went on we went on Rene Rivkin's yacht once and wow. got a helicopter and flew to the Sunbury site once. But dogs are the best people in the alleyway in the city in the mid nineties. It was pretty grungy and um, and I guess that's a pretty well known song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. And um, if you could have made one classic Australian film, which one would it be? Um, Ghost of the Civil Dead. Oh, yeah, good answer. I kind of, um, that's, I reckon I would have been able to guess that you'd choose that one. Yeah, I got to sort of work with Paul Goldman a little bit at City Films through Mark Hartley. Um, and it was just, yeah, funny hearing his stories from the those punk days. You yeah, know? you and Mark go way back, don't you? Yeah, I went to film school with Mark. Yeah, it was cool. Awesome. Um, me a lot yeah it pretty much taught me how to edit you know as well as lots of other things yeah we're well, very different people <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know you kind of are but you both revolve around a very similar circle though yeah yeah all right what's your drink of choice well i'm drinking sailor jerry's right now <laughs> uh, <laughs> um but i do like vodka yeah vodka excellent yeah uh Will the music from Cult Girls be available to purchase or download because it's gnarly? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, Aaron McKim, who was the composer on um, Cult Girls, um, he's yeah looking at making it into a soundtrack, so definitely keen to do that, you know? Well, I'll buy one. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be awesome to have a vinyl 
pressing or something. I doubt that'll happen, but that would that'd be way cool. Oh well, we can um, we can always wish. I've uh, I just heard about the 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 Mandy soundtrack. How they've released uh, a soundtrack of, of, to the fake cult. You know, like the, <laughs> the, the guy's got his own um, album, which is that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. And these days with vinyl, they're doing all kinds of weird and wonderful things with the colours and the pressings, and yeah, it would be very very cool. Yeah. Love one. All right, here's a weird one for you. Um, have you enjoyed any Michael Bay movies? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I, I'm probably not informed enough to talk about it. <laughs> you, you, you're it. thinking about your reputation, I, I suspect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's all right. Um, okay, so what's here, a similar question? What's a movie that you enjoy that might not that you might not be really ready to confess to liking? Um. Oh, the Dark Crystal is probably still pretty cool, isn't it? But it's a kids' yeah. film. No, uh, kids' films are the I best. Like Dark Crystal, yeah, you know. I'd love to see you direct a kids' film. <laughs> yeah, well, I had my kids in my film, but uh, I wouldn't call it a kids' film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is a better movie, Arachnophobia or Big Ass Spider? Arachnophobia, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's clearly the the best of the two. It's the scariest yeah. PG movie I've ever seen. Yeah. I'm not okay. really fond of spiders, even though I try and be all dark and, you know, into horror, but uh, snakes and spiders, I'm not a big fan. Oh, that's the appeal to me. The the, the fact that, you know, you're scared of them. I mean, I'm, I'm scared of serial killers, but I'll still watch scare, serial killer movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hand me portrait of a serial killer when I was um, younger and saw that, that, that really freaked me out. Sure did. Yeah. He, here's a question for you that, that I didn't think of, but now that you've brought Henry up, have you seen Henry too? No, I haven't. No, it no. is well worth it. I um, I was talking to one of our listeners last week about it, and he went and watched it. And now he's an unabashed fan of it too. And yeah. it, it's a it's an odd sequel that actually matches the tone of the original, so it's worth a look. Okay. Tram was pretty good too. Jog Jog Butterick's film that was pretty uh, messed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you love your messed up stuff, mate. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay how are you passing the time in lockdown i've been lucky to be working um working on a, a cooking tv series for channel 10 yeah but at the same time when uh the first lockdown started i just started um cutting a lot of music videos just using archival footage for like you know um snog black lung the foves um a band from portland called suffering for kisses so I just kept myself busy. I like keeping myself busy. That's what Warhol always used to say. So I just try and do the same thing. And what's the first thing you're going to do when the restrictions are lifted? Uh, hopefully trying, well, maybe go surfing. I'm missing going surfing. Um, but yeah, hopefully get this documentary uh, that I'm working on with Umbrella into gear. Excellent. All right. I have a funny feeling I know the answer to this, but we'll go for it anyway. Did you see Bradley Cooper's A Star is Born and did you enjoy it? I haven't seen it at all. <laughs> um, I remember seeing the original probably at the drive-ins or something with my parents when I was young. Yep. Uh, and I didn't like that. Original. <laughs> so even though Chris Christopher was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I haven't, I, I've heard it's very good, but I, I haven't seen it. I'm pretty slack with seeing a lot of new films, even if they're popular. I, I don't know. I just look for weird things. I was about to say a mind like yours would be sort of looking for other stuff, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, final question. What's your favourite movie soundtrack? Uh, the Harder They Come is a pretty good soundtrack. Um, the Jamaican film. Do you know of that film? I do not. Uh, it's this like uh, guerrilla style film that they shot in Jamaica in the 70s. Um, and it has a fantastic sort of early 70s reggae soundtrack um jimmy cliff sings the title song you probably know it if you heard the song most likely um, you know and i guess you know um that whole punk era the 77 punk era where they were playing a lot of dub and, and reggae that probably informed me about that sort of stuff oh there's lots of soundtracks dead man's pretty good as well with neil young yep um it's funny how i think jim jamush was telling him to uh you know separate the sound and listen to it on the headphones and he told Jim Jamoosh to fuck off and <laughs> turn up the amp. So there's all this bleed through from the actual screen. Yeah. Um, I think that that's part of the soundtrack and 
um, yeah, I like that as well. I, really I, I love the soundtracks that Jarmusch sort of um, manages to conjure. Like, I think Ghost Dog is, I'm not a hip-hop fan, but Ghost Dog is an incredible soundtrack. Actually, I should have said Ghost Dog because I've actually got a tattoo of Ghost Dog of the book that um, the guy reads from. Uh, yep. And, and uh, yeah, a big one on my leg. And that the same with me. I'm not a massive hip-hop fan. But that album is awesome. Um, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's in my top five at least. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, that's the end of Rapid Fire. Thanks heaps for sticking around. It's been an absolute pleasure, dude. No worries, Glenn. I, I uh, really appreciate you having me. And for everyone that is watching, uh, make sure you go back to our Monday uh, podcast. Mark was on there talking about his film Cult Girls, which is now available on DVD through uh, Umbrella Entertainment. And I'm sure we'll see you around the traps and maybe get you back on the, the show to have a much longer conversation. That'd be awesome, Glenn. Looking forward to catching up. For soon. sure, mate. For sure. All the best and um, see you soon. All right. Take care. All right. See ya.